Hi, I'm Paulina and I'm a Scroll and Digitization Conservator at the British Library in London. Today I'm going to show you the ideal workflow for taking care of your collection items along with some handling tips. These will help you to avoid risks such as further damage to your collections and to prevent mix-ups and loss. Before handling any material, it is important to prepare yourself and the space around you. Make sure your hands are clean and dry and free of any products like hand cream. Take off any jewellery, washes and necklaces. Remove nail varnish or henna as these substances can transfer to the object's surface. If you're handling photographs, wear gloves to prevent fingerprints. You should also wear disposable gloves when handling mouldy materials. Don't eat or store food in the area you are working in. These can attract pests to the area, which could damage collection items. Work in a clean and dry surface and use table protection if necessary. Make sure there is enough room for the collection item to lay open and keep your conservation tools and equipment within easy reach. If possible, work on a surface that is a comfortable height and clear the floor area so it is safe to move around between workspaces without accidentally tripping or falling. If you have space available, it is best to set up five distinct work areas, each with a separate purpose. Use trays or trolleys to move the items between the different stations. The first workstation would be for assessment and triage. Are the items ready to be digitized? Do they need unfolding or cleaning? The second workstation is for special care. This would be used for cleaning collection items or flattening them. The third is for preparation for digitization. The space would be next to the digitization area where items can be laid out and supported with the appropriate accessories. It is wise to dedicate a large table or clean and dry area to queue up the collection items ready for digitization. This will ensure that they are photographed in the correct order and that loose items and fragments do not become separated or lost. The fourth workstation is for digitization. Here is where the image capture will take place. Make sure you have the right support items, such as pointers, foam and paper, available to aid the process. Decide in advance who is in charge of what. The images would then be processed on a computer or laptop. After the items have been photographed, they need to be set aside and then transported safely back into storage. This tutorial is part of our online video series covering digitization, digital preservation and conservation for the Endangered Archives program. Feel free to explore these resources at eap.bl.uk slash training videos.